Hi there, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is a moving story. Charlie, Charlie, it's time to get up. We're leaving this morning, whispered Chris to his little brother. Charlie shot up in his bed. I'm awake, I'm awake. Did Dad say how long before we leave? Chris said, Mom and Dad aren't up yet. I'm just too excited to sleep. I had a hard time getting to sleep last night. I'm too excited. What an adventure we're gonna have, Charlie whispered loudly. Even though the boys were three years apart, they were very close. They had known something big was happening when Dad brought home lots of big boxes. They were moving. They had never lived anywhere but in the city they called theirs. Well, it wasn't exactly a city, but it was outside a really big city. They loved their house, especially their backyard where they had a big play area, complete with a tower, a slide, swings, and a tire swing. They played outside for hours while Mama was working inside and Dad was working in the garage building stuff. Now, they were going to live far away from everything familiar. They weren't scared though. They were excited. It was a new adventure. This was going to be fun. As darkness turned to morning, the boys packed their last few things while Mama packed snacks together and Dad put the last few things in the rented moving van. Let's get this show on the road, said Dad. He was going to drive the van while Mama would drive their car. You guys be good for Mama. Do you have your walkie-talkies? Got them right here, said Chris. Remember, you can just call me on them if you want to talk. Keep Mama awake, guys. She's got a big drive ahead. Dad got into the van. Before long, they were on the road. It was going to take two days to get to where they were going, so the boys settled in. Road trips were always so much fun. They played games like trying to find cars with license plates from each state, I spy, and words on billboards that started with each letter of the alphabet. And they read. They didn't get car sick reading. Charlie especially loved playing with his superhero character. He was always writing stories about his superhero, even at home. So this trip was letting him write even more stories where his superhero got to go on a trip. The boys saw a rest area up ahead. They'd been on the road for a while and had gone through two states already, and boy, they needed a restroom. Mama, can we stop up ahead? asked Charlie. Sure, sweetie. Would you please let Dad know? said Mom. Charlie picked up the walkie-talkie. Come in, Dad. Come in, Big Daddy. This is the command car. Dad smiled in the moving van. I got you, command. What's going on? Charlie needs to stop, and I guess I do too. Mama said it was okay, Chris said. Copy, command. We can stop at this coming rest stop. The walkie-talkie crackled. Everyone hopped out at the rest stop while Dad filled each of the vehicles with gas. This was the perfect time to stop, he smiled to himself. Pretty soon, though, they were back on the road. Chris went with Dad for a while, while Charlie kept Mama company. Then, the boys switched off when they stopped again for more snacks and gas. Chris jumped into the car with Mama. I miss you, Mama. I had fun with Dad, but I miss you, too, he said when he got in and fastened his seatbelt. I missed you, too, sweetie. Get comfortable and let's go, said Mama. As they drove, it became obvious that Chris was not going to be any help in keeping Mama on her toes. While Charlie talked almost non-stop and told her the stories he had written in his head, Chris almost immediately fell asleep. Mama looked at him in the rearview mirror and smiled lovingly. The trip went along with no hitches. They were even able to arrive at their new place faster than anticipated. The boys hopped out to look at their new home. They had traveled there before on vacation, but now they looked at it with new eyes, trying to get used to seeing this place as their home. This is going to be fun, said Charlie. Chris nodded in agreement. It's a new adventure. Then Charlie looked at Chris and said quietly, but I'm going to miss our two grandmas. Chris just looked at him and said, yep, definitely. Let's go help dad before we get too sad. The new adventure had begun. Thank you so much. This is Grandma Lori.